We love it when puppies are excited to see us. They are so adorable. But if that excitement leads to a puddle on the floor or on your shoe, not so fun. Sometimes you're gonna see similar accidents if your puppy's experiencing fear or stress too. So let's go over why this happens and how to prevent it. Puppies are cute, but puppy piddles and accidents, not so much. So if this is happening to your puppy, the first thing I want you to do is start to notice when it's happening. If you can identify the trigger that creates this excitement or stress pee, then you can more easily work on it. Now, the most common reason for this is that the puppy's experiencing some strong emotions. The world is big and scary for a young puppy, so whatever's happening might be beyond his comfort zone. In addition, puppies, more than adult dogs, are easily excited and overstimulated by relatively normal events. Things like a human arriving home from work or school, or when the puppy is greeting a guest, these can trigger a potty accident. And if you're not sure of all the situations that could cause excited pee, watch for some body language cues that could alert you to the fact that your pup is getting too excited. Some tail wags mean a happy dog, but if the tail is too high and moving very fast, that's usually a sign of overexcited or overstimulated dogs. Likewise, if your puppy is jumping up, we'll often see excited pee during this time. So if the dog is cowering into you, kind of lowered posture in order to say hi, this is also a pretty strong emotion and it will likely lead to an accident especially in a young dog now one more thing to watch for is a whale eye with a head turn and slow approach this is a confusing one for humans because it's rather subtle but it's likely going to lead to an accident because it's indicating some stress or big feelings now young puppies have young bladders and underdeveloped bladder muscles after all your puppy probably didn't learn to hold his or her bladder with the mama dog he or she is only just starting to work Work on it when you start working on potty training. Puppies can't hold their pee very well just yet, which is why young puppies are a lot of work when they're being potty trained. The humans have to get the puppy outside for a potty break very frequently. Now, when Lady came home, I was on a schedule of taking her out every 20 to 30 minutes when she was awake. Now that she's 10 months old, she's gotten a lot better. She can hold her bladder for several hours now. Now, if you've just started potty training or you're struggling with it, be sure to grab my free resource that's going to guide you through it. The resource is called the new puppy starter kit and it's all digital. It does contain some important socialization information and your first training game in addition to the potty training lessons. Now you can get it uh, through the link below or comment new puppy and we'll reply with the link for you. It's hard to know when exactly those bladder muscles are going to be strong but most puppies have a mature bladder by about six months of age. Some longer. One important part of potty training though is crate training. When the puppy is comfortable and content in the crate, they can learn to hold their bladder until they're out in the potty spot. As long as the human is aware of how long they can naturally hold it and then get their puppy out in time, the crate helps the bladder muscles get stronger. Now the general rule of thumb is that a puppy can hold their bladder for about one hour per month of age while in confinement. Now, Along with weakened bladder muscles, you have a puppy who has to go frequently. Small dogs have smaller bladders. So if the excitement or the stress is happening when the puppy's bladder is more full, you're gonna be more likely to see this kind of potty accident. The key to this is to examine when it happens and then put a plan in place to work on the emotions. We wanna prevent it from happening by managing emotions and it's also keeping up on that potty training. So let's just review a few common situations when you're gonna see this excited pee and then what to do about them. So if you've taken our recommendations and you're using the puppy pen, you might see accidents when you leave your puppy's sight. This is likely stress about being alone. This is pretty common, but it's definitely something I want you to work on because you don't want a puppy who can't ever be alone. In a situation like this, you're gonna to need to work on independence training. You'll wanna slowly build up to the duration of you being out of sight while helping your puppy remain calm. We have a video about how to best do this if you want to check it out. And if your puppy pees when meeting someone on a walk or when you get home from being gone, this is likely overexcitement. Now the way to work on this is to help the interaction be more calm and keep your puppy under threshold. You can teach her that she doesn't need to meet everyone while out on a walk. And in fact, we actually want more of a eh, 
meh reaction from her when she sees people or other dogs. You can work on her greeting manners as well, teaching her not to jump on you, but instead maybe sit at your feet to be greeted, or maybe go get her favorite toy if you're at home when this happens most. Now when a dog runs to get a toy or an item when they seem to be very excited, we call this a displacement behavior. It's actually very normal. You can use this to your advantage and reward your dog for doing it so that they're eliminating the excited greeting that often happens and then leads to the potty accident. We covered this kind of behavior in our online training program where we go over the PMET plan for how to deal with unwanted behaviors. That stands for Prevention, Management, Enrichment, and Training. We actually have an entire course dedicated to unwanted behaviors, including jumping, biting, digging, counter surfing, and so much more. Now, if this behavior is happening when new people or guests come to the house, you can also teach your puppy a different way of greeting. If you can channel that puppy energy into something more productive, you can minimize the overexcitement and also give her an alternative behavior. In the training program I mentioned, we actually have an entire section on greeting guests. This includes a video to send to your guests so that they can understand your training protocol. And then they can help you and your puppy succeed with a different and more polite greeting. And those of you with big dogs, uh, I hope you're working on polite greeting training before your pup gets too big. Start when they're young. Now, you may not be able to hurry along a stronger bladder, but you can take some steps to prevent this from happening. So if you know the situation situations that trigger the potty accidents, you can be proactively taking your pup out to empty their bladder before those situations happen. One of our How to Train a Dream Dog team members has experienced this with her dog Lincoln. Normal daily returns to the home didn't elicit a potty accident, but if Allison was out of town, the return home after a few days usually prompted a potty accident during the greeting. Allison worked on this by calling ahead when she was almost home and then asking a family member to get Lincoln out for a potty break. That way, he didn't have a full bladder when she arrived home. This worked really well when he was young. And then as he got older, he outgrew the behavior. It is important to take these steps even if your puppy's bladder is not strong. Preventing the behavior from happening is really one of the main ways we deal with the unwanted behavior. Just set your expectations up to be in line with reality here. You might not see an improvement until your pup is closer to a year and you put in the training to desensitize the interactions that cause it. It's important to work on the puppy's overall confidence and therefore reduce fear and stress. You can do this by exposing your puppy to new things in a positive way. So new things aren't scary or overly exciting, but just Meh. We actually don't recommend a lot of doggy greetings while out on walks, but instead we teach you to train your dog for neutrality. We want her to remain calm and neutral when seeing other dogs and people. And then, with your permission, if you determine it's the right setting, then you can allow her to greet. If you're working on this or feel like you need to, be sure to watch this video to guide you. I do have four more quick tips for you, so let's go. I don't want you to ever scold or get angry with your puppy for having a potty accident. This could actually make the situation worse and then add more stress, or the pup could end up hiding from you and then sneak off to pee when they have to go. Now, another tip is to clean up with an enzymatic cleaner like Nature's Miracle, so this doesn't become a new potty spot. The more your pup goes goes potty in the same spot, the stronger the habit is going to become. This is because they will continue to smell themselves there and this triggers the urge to go again and again. Now, another piece of homework for you is to study up on canine communication so you can recognize more subtle signs of stress and then work on them. This can help your puppy remain more calm and not get over threshold where there will be an accident. Canine communication can be a real puzzle for humans, but if you start to watch your puppy's body language carefully, you're gonna pick up on the small signals that precede a whine, a bark, or that potty accident. Now, I want you to watch this video next so you can look for signs like a whale eye or a tongue flick. Then you can help your puppy feel better sooner because you'll know what they're saying with their body language. Also, if you're seeing a dramatic change in behavior or if your puppy was doing really well with potty training and then all of a sudden you're seeing accidents, be sure to rule out any medical issues like a UTI or a bladder infection by making an appointment with your vet. Above all, be patient and keep your expectations low. Puppies don't do things out of spite or stubbornness. They are acting on instinct and their little undeveloped brain and bladder tell them to do so. You are the critical thinker here. You can put a plan in place to address it. Your puppy is not capable of that. The more you understand your puppy, the easier it's gonna be to teach her to live in a human world. You've got this. All right, this is Michelle Lennon, your favorite puppy trainer, wishing you an accident-free rest of your day.